that we are gathered here today for another important occasion as our country celebrates the 53rd anniversary of Mashuja Day. The objective of this great occasion is to remember and commemorate the immense heroism and sacrifice made by men and women whose efforts won us the freedom and sovereignty we now enjoy. We could not be here today were it not for their determination to free our country from the shackles of colonial rule. We salute and honor them all, while I also take this opportunity to thank you all for turning up in large numbers to celebrate this important day in the history of our country. This day also gives us the opportunity to remember the many modern day heroes and heroines in our midst who continue to play a sterling role in the growth and development of our county. These are men and women who through seemingly small yet heroic deeds transform and continue to transform the lives of our communities. They include the dedicated public servants, devoted teachers, caring and compassionate health workers, courageous soldiers, God-fearing clerics and ulema who care for our spiritual well-being, traders who sell goods and services and create jobs for our youth, and of course farmers who toil the land and herd animals to feed us among many others. To them all, I say, this is your day and we celebrate you all. Brothers and sisters, a day such as this one also offers us an opportunity to reflect back on how, to reflect back on how, of how far our country has traveled since independence despite many challenges. The promulgation of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 ushered in a new dispensation in Kenya that granted the people of Kenya the right to participate in setting their development priorities. This promulgation was without doubt a positive turning point for our county and the other counties of the Northeast region. For instance, health is a key pillar and, a, and every Kenyan has a right to quality health under the Constitution of Kenya 2010. As a call of duty and in appreciation of the above constitutional requirement, my government from the assumption of office in 2013 formulated a clear strategy of devolution for the health sector with the ultimate goal of leaving behind a legacy of health is wealth for the people of this great country. This necessitated huge investments in the sector including establishment of appropriate health care infrastructure in the remotest parts of the country. Some of the investments, some of the key investments and activities undertaken for the sector so far include the following. We have constructed 26 maternity wards in different, mostly remote parts of the county. We have constructed 16 modern dispensaries in different but mostly remote parts of the county. We have constructed two modern theatres, one at Modogashe and one at Barambala. We have constructed two modern X-ray centres, one at Masalani and the other one in Nada. We have constructed two additional rooms to expand the Hunuko laboratory. We have constructed a modern mortuary, modern mortuary facility at the Garissa General Hospital. We have constructed four modern kitchens at Masalani, Balambala, Mudogashe and Bura. We have employed more than 700 specialist health workers, including doctors and nurses, 
with the aim of ensuring a smooth and uninterrupted service delivery in all the hospitals and health centers of the county. We have completed the refurbishment of Garissa General Hospital, including removal of the asbestos roof that has remained on the hospital since independence. We have increased the total number of ambulances available to the county to 16, with the aim of ensuring that at least one ambulance shall be available to cover each two wards. We have initiated a robust and effective referral system manned 24 hours by a competent and professional team. We have instituted a concept of rapid results initiatives with the objective of ensuring execution of development programs within determined time frames. We have acquired and supplied complete modern laboratory equipment to all the main hospitals of each sub-county. We have acquired and supplied two modern 0.5 kVA generators to Baramara and Huluko hospitals. Finally, we have undertaken the complete refurbishment of Burra sub-county hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate Mashiga Day today, I am indeed gratified that our heavy investments in the health sector is paying back in a big way. And at this juncture, I would like to pay tribute to our healthcare department, which has lately been making headlines in both local as well as international media for all the good reasons. In one of the in one of the high-profile achievements, the Balambala Sub-County Hospital on Tuesday, 27 September 2016, conducted its first ever cesarean section successfully following the inauguration of the theater at the hospital in May 2016. This achievement was simply historic and marked a new beginning for the people of Balambala, who since independence had not known such a development. That indeed is the promise of devolution, as the people of Balambala can now assess such quality service closer to them. In another important promise of devolution, our county earlier in this month was rated the overall best performing county with the most enhanced healthcare service delivery practices. The county scooped this prestigious award against 46 other counties, parastatals, and, depart and departments for its efforts to increase deliveries in health facilities. The award known as Best Practices Award was given by the Ministry of Health National Government to the county for major innovations that had the effect of increasing skill deliveries from 36% in 2013 to 45% in 2015. The initiative is also brought about a marked reduction in maternal deaths within the county. Our intention is to score even more awards in the near future, but even more important, our intention is to maintain our lead in the country as a whole, and this we will do through the realization of additional major achievements in the near future, including the following. We hope to see the opening of a modern renal unit at Garissa PGH very soon. We will also witness the opening of a modern MRI unit at Garissa PGH very soon. We will also be witnessing the opening of a modern IC unit at the Garissa PGH Hospital also very soon. All the above initiatives are already on track and we hope these facilities will soon 
be how to serve the people of Garissa. I also wish to take this opportunity to highlight that major projects are similarly being undertaken in all the other departments of the government and the same will be rolled out in the very near future. These include, for instance, legacy projects such as the Masalani Water Project, which is nearing completion and is planned to be commissioned before the end of this year. Ladies and gentlemen, it is unfortunate that as we celebrate this Mashuja Day and as we highlight our developmental successes, it is unfortunate that the Northeast region as a whole is going through a period of serious drought not witnessed for many years. As a county government, we are doing everything within our capacity to mitigate the, neg the negative effects of this natural calamity on our people by tracking water to all parts of the county and also by giving out food aid to as many villages as possible. However, we are extremely disturbed that we are not moving as quick as possible and that is largely as a result of the fact that we are yet to receive the huge support we are supposed to be getting from the national government which has a bigger budget for this kind of natural calamities. However, I want to mention that we have lately been actively talking to the minister in charge of uh, this docket. We have also met the chairperson of NDMA and we are hopeful that food will start flowing to the country very, very shortly. Fellow Garrisons, as we pursue our development aspirations and the devolution, we must remember that no meaningful development can be achieved in an environment of insecurity. Hence, it's incumbent upon us to take every opportunity to remind ourselves and our people of this important aspect and to remain vigilant at all times. We vehemently condemn the recent attacks on the town of Hamei in the Dab sub-county by the notorious Al-Shabaab group. Nevertheless, I must commend the good works being undertaken by the security agents in the county under the able leaderships of both the regional commissioner, the county commissioner, and also the county, the county uh, security commander. Ladies and gentlemen, it is worth reminding ourselves that the men and women who struggled for our freedom had the dream of a country in which all Kenyans lived in peace and harmony. Nothing gives me greater happiness that to see the residents of this county, notwithstanding their diversity, walking proudly and peacefully, without fear and without any form of intimidation. In this regard, I hasten to make a solemn appeal to all, particularly to fellow leaders, to preach peace and to focus on issues that will bring our people closer and contribute to uplifting the standards of living. As I conclude my speech, I would like to take this opportunity to wish all our candidates sitting the KCPE and KCSE exams the best of luck. I'm confident that the hard work that they have put in their preparations shall bear fruit. Asantani sana na mungu wa God bless you all, God bless our country, and God bless our county.